February 1st, 2017. From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie. Peter Alexander is at the White House. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. For all of Donald Trump's controversies, this pick may be the best thing that President Trump has done to unify Republicans, delivering on a campaign promise to nominate conservatives to the Supreme Court. Neil Gorsuch is a federal judge. He has impeccable credentials, actually a Harvard Law classmate of President Obama's and a widely respected conservative jurist. President Trump as showman in chief, keeping his Supreme Court pick under wrap for days before a primetime reveal. So was that a surprise, was it? The president announcing conservative Neil Gorsuch, a federal appeals court judge from Denver, who he praised for having a brilliant mind and tremendous discipline. He is the man of our country and a man who our country really needs. If confirmed, Gorsuch, who's 49, could serve on the high court for decades. Mr. President, I am honored and I am hum humbled. Thank you very much. To keep the selection a secret, aides tell NBC News, the fourth generation Coloradan was picked up by a White House team from a neighbor's house in Boulder, driven to the airport on a backcountry road before taking a military jet to Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. Scalia's widow Maureen in the room as Gorsuch spoke fondly of her husband. Justice Scalia was a lion of the law. Agree or disagree with him, all of his colleagues on the bench cherish his wisdom and his humor. And like them, I miss him. The East Room announcement came in front of a crowd of Republican leaders, as well as Mr. Trump's two adult sons. The reaction in the room, unanimous. Judge Gorsuch is probably the best pick he could have made, undoubtedly qualified. Still, Trump's selections already setting off political fireworks. Democrats vowing to hold up the pick. Millions of people. Even before the announcement, some Democrats promising to filibuster yeah. any pick who isn't Merrick Garland, President Obama's nominee, who Republicans refused to give a vote or a hearing. To be confirmed, Gorsuch will need 60 Senate votes, something Democratic leader Chuck Schumer is insisting on. That is unless Republicans decide to overrule the process, deploying the so-called nuclear option, changing Senate rules to allow a simple majority vote to approve the pick. The bottom line here, the Democratic base's anger about President Trump's temporary travel ban has really turned up the temperature in Congress, making it harder for Democrats to be seen supporting President Trump on anything. Last night, Senator Lindsey Graham told me if Democrats filibuster Neil Gorsuch, it would be a great disservice to the Senate. Judge Gorsuch does have his first meeting on Capitol Hill today with Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Matt Hoda, back to you. All right, Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thanks.